How you guys doing today? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I will be going over how to successfully pair up an Apple iPhone to the 2019 and newer BMW X5. This car, as along with other BMWs, require a subscription to Apple CarPlay, and I believe it's at $80 a month, or you can pay $300 for a full 18 years of it or something like that. Uh, that's all on their website, but you do need a subscription with this brand to use Apple CarPlay. One of the uh, benefits of the BMW system, it is completely wireless. You can still use the USB ports. There's one USB port in here, as well as a USB-C in this center console. Both of those will work for CarPlay. So let's go ahead and turn the car on. And once we settle in, I'm going to make sure we go home on this screen. Now, real quick, before we get into things, to check how much longer your subscription for CarPlay is active, you have to go into where it shows apps here. So we're on the home screen. I got here by clicking home. And again, with the BMWs, this is the screen is controlled by this knob system down here, or you could use the touch screen. So let's go ahead and click the apps. And in here, you want to go to BMW store and let it load. Give it a few seconds. And now when we go back, you can see how it shows subscribe or subscribed. You want to click subscribed. And these will show you all of the active subscriptions you currently have. So if you scroll, you'll see right here, Apple CarPlay. And then right below it, it will show you exactly how long you have until your subscription expires. And you can click it for a little bit more details as well. So now I'm going to go home and to go to connect a phone to CarPlay, well first you have to make sure you enable it because there's a, a special uh, area where you actually have to check it. So you're going to want to go into communication. So down here you also have the, the com button right there underneath menu. But from the home screen again you go into communication. You go to where it shows mobile device with the little kind of settings. And, and from here, you want to click settings. And in settings, this is where you'll actually be able to see if Apple CarPlay has been checked. And you have to make sure that this setting is checked, otherwise Apple CarPlay will not work. And it's kind of like a little secret, but now that you know this, just make sure if you are trying to set this up in your BMW, you have to go into the setting area of your communication apps and you have to make sure that that is checked. So now that we did that, we can go back home. So now that we're back to the home screen, the easiest way to do this is to click on the communication tab right here. And at this point, I'm gonna go down and make sure my phone is in settings and is in Bluetooth with Bluetooth on. I'm gonna now go ahead and go back into mobile devices and I'm gonna go add new device. And you can see this top section here, phone calls and audio via Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay. So you gotta click that. It's gonna search. My phone just came up, so I'm gonna click that. Now on the phone, you're gonna get a little pair and an allow, and you wanna click those two things. And now the next notification is device support Apple CarPlay. Would you like the data to be sent to your device? So confirm note and connect. You have to make sure you click that. And now you have down here, so you can use CarPlay with BMW, turn on Wi-Fi, and use CarPlay, because you need both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on to work with the system. So you want to go ahead and turn that on. And there we go. It took a little long, but we are now connected. Now, once you get to this screen, you'll see how it shows the phone that you just connected and to switch between the BMW Bluetooth and the Apple CarPlay connectivity, so when you automatically get in the car, when you turn it on, it will either connect to Bluetooth or CarPlay, you have to actually go into your phone here. And in this menu right here, where it shows connection mode, you gotta go in there, and you gotta click Apple CarPlay. Now what you guys will notice is the clip right before this, it showed two of my phones, one with the Wi-Fi on top, uh, I was able to get it into this one bar, 
by clicking this and going into Apple CarPlay mode and then switching it back. So for some reason it didn't connect the first time for me. So just make sure when you guys are doing this that your phone shows up in one line and it will show phone, music, apps, and Wi-Fi all in that one line. So let's go ahead in there. You're gonna click connection mode and you're gonna switch it to Apple CarPlay. You're gonna say confirm. And now we should be good. So you can see, you know that the device is connected when your battery level shows up right here. So now I'm gonna go back. And if we go into the phone menu, so I'll go home again, so communication right here, right here, or down here, click on one of those. And now what you have is phone in CarPlay. So click that, and that is going to bring up your CarPlay on the BMW screen. Now one thing to note about the BMW system is it's not really noticeable on the camera, but this is by far the biggest and highest resolution screen I've ever seen with CarPlay. To kind of give you perspective, ignore my friend texting me, that's the virtual cockpit there, which is 12.3 inches I believe. That just dwarfs it. And the apps are, are ginormous. If you look at the size of my fingers, they're, you know, they're about three or two inches or two fingers wide, which is, this is the, the best interface I've ever seen with CarPlay by far. Uh, no wonder BMW charges money for it. So now, like like everything else, you basically have the functionality. Um, being wireless, again, just like the Audi wireless system, I can't believe how smooth it is. The frame rate might be not as tight as the Audis, but it makes up for it with resolution and size. These apps, you can't miss them. Even if you're driving along, you really can't miss them. Now, with, with this being said, um, the functionality of it, let's go into Google Maps, for instance, and you can see how ginormous that screen is. Let's put my phone up there in comparison. You can really see the difference. Even the widescreen on the iPhone X looks microscopic compared to that. You do have the voice button on the steering wheel, so if you hold this down, it will bring up Siri. So I wonder if anyone's figured out a workaround for that. So if you hold down the voice button in any other car, it brings you straight to Siri. But in the BMW, what's the weather for tomorrow? Should be sunny in New York tomorrow. The high will be 84 degrees and the low will be 64. Okay, so after a little bit of time there, that notification does go away. So just so you guys know. Now on the steering wheel, besides the voice control button, you do have uh, the ability to custom tailor the heads up display, as you can see up there. So if your car is equipped with that, basically this menu button here, if you click, give that a click, you will get a menu up there that will basically show you if you want to switch between different sources of media. So you have your Sirius XM, FM, AM, and Apple CarPlay. So if I go into Apple CarPlay, if you have something playing through Spotify or Apple Music, you'll actually get album art up there, as well as previous title and next title, which is pretty sweet. Never seen anything like that implemented before on a heads-up display. So now you basically use this center knob here to scroll through the options there, or to skip the tracks, you can use the uh, arrows next to that scroll wheel. So if I were to go ahead and skip, you can see the album co cover does change up there, and it's full color which is pretty awesome. And that's all done right here as well as volume. And to change that radio modes is this button again, and this is gonna be your voice control for, for Siri. Besides that, obviously, it's gonna function like any other Apple CarPlay system, and this screen is gonna be tremendous when iOS 13 comes out because you can completely cut this screen in half and still have a very usable nav and you can have the two other apps, whatever you're doing over there. So that's gonna be great, can't wait to test that out. Let's get Spotify up on here. It shows you, you know, your playlists, very, very large. Okay. And you can see the buttons are very, very large. So again, works like you are used to, well, you know, Spot, Spotify working in CarPlay. Um, that being said, out of all the systems I've used, Definitely up there. 
I, I, I um, I'm very impressed. And again, it should, that makes sense because BMW is charging money for you to use this system. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about how to pair this up, if you have trouble, if you try it at home, please leave comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and take care.